Two prominent volcanologists of the Iceland University have agreed that there is a high probability that we will have an eruption this weekend. According to my colleagues, Professor Thorvald Thorvaldson and Armand Khoshkoltsen, uh, the stress level in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system has reached a level that the eruption is imminent by the weekend. And uh, I have tried to show this by the plotting of the GPS data showing the accumulation of the magma under the Schwarzenegger volcanic system in different locations based on the measurements. When I look at this uh, diagram, what I see is that to the west side, we have more magma accumulation, and in the central side, we don't have yet uh, as much as the other side. This practically resembles the rift pattern that we have in this area. And this closely resembles what we already have from the Iceland Meteorological Office about the magma accumulation under the Swartzengi volcanic system, according to these maps that we have. They are based on this argument that the lava flow from the moment of the accumulation of the lava under the Swartzengi onto the lateral flow toward the Sunduka crater follows the pattern of the January and February eruptions, mostly February, as you can see here. If it does follow that pattern, we will have the eruption and uh, the lateral flow will create from the Sorsengi a flow of magma sideways toward the east where the Sunuka craters are and comes to the surface with pressure. The stress level is built up. I will personally wait and see. And in the meantime, I invite you to watch a video I already have made about uh, how the eruption looks like when it happens. And uh, this is a pattern that it can follow also this time. How we know the eruption has started? This is the Reykjanes Peninsula and this is the Swartzengi volcanic system that we are talking about. You see a cluster of the earthquakes appearing concentrated in a certain area, in this case near the Swartzengi uh, volcanic system. Before that, you see just waves of the earthquakes appearing on the chart, then a huge cluster, and they're intense, very close, up to magnitude uh, 3 in the Richter scale. You see the wave coming, the tremors, and uh, on the chart, you see them sudden rise in the tremors. That was uh, December 23, this is the January and this is the February eruption, as you can see. We have a high rise, sudden rise in the tremors, which shows the eruption have started. This is the moment that the earthquake suddenly increase. This is breaking through the surface, cracking the rocks, pulverizing them, making way for the magma to erupt. And the moment that it happens, the pressure is relieved you will see the gases volatilize inside the magma actually coming to the surface, pushing the magma upward, creating lava. You see at the depth, bubbles rising. This is the crushing moment that happens. Then what happens is that the uh, magma reaches the surface area with the lowest pressure and a bang. monitor the situation by looking at the MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland uh, live on the camera and just see how it happens in real time. I recommend that you, you do that. Of course, you could say that you don't need any of these geophysics. You can just look at the cameras and you will see it.